How's it going, YouTube? I'm in my little backyard fountain area. This is nowhere, this is not even the entire backyard. This is just a little area that I bring Oscar sometimes to let him run around in circles. And uh, he seems to like to run around the fountain chasing the laser pointer. And, uh,. I thought I'd come out here and do a little New Year's video. I've been putting... I didn't get the chance to do the Christmas Day video like I had meant to. So, Merry Christmas to everybody. Belated, but Merry Christmas either way. And, of course, um, New Year's Day, I didn't get to do a video. Um, I've been kind of putting that off on purpose. I just haven't felt like doing anything. But, since I saw Jay's video this morning, earlier this morning, I thought I would, I would pop out here and uh, talk a little bit about the new year. And in true Jay fashion, house of keeping. This is a neat little estate bulldog that I picked up on uh, eBay. I don't know if you can see the name there. I'm not really sure. You know, this is like a pretty much a, a no-name. And it's a little one. It's not like a huge... This is like a 5-inch long pipe. But it's got a pretty big bowl on it. In it, I'm smoking Capstan Blue. Um, I just broke open the tin. We went to see The Hobbit yesterday, and I do I did recall that uh, Tolkien was a, a fan of Capstan, so I broke that out and uh, decided to give it a smoke. Now, I say it's a pretty big bowl because I fit one flake in here, and I definitely had room for at least a half another flake, a half of a another flake. So I could have fit probably like a flake and a half to two flakes, depending on what I'm smoking in here. So I'm happy about that. And you're going to see me shaking this pipe a lot because I usually smoke filtered pipes, and this one has a stinger in it, which I absolutely hate. I do not like the K. Woody drinkless thing and anything with a metal stinger. I tend to smoke hard and very hot, so obviously it gets pretty wet inside the bowl. That's what she said. So, so the new year, 2014. I'm not really one for making resolutions because... I don't know, just resolutions always seem silly to me. I'm going to do this, and then you don't really do anything, and everybody's, like, really big about it. Resolutions are not quite what I'm looking to make. I'm looking to make lifestyle changes. So, I've got, there's something rolling around in the bushes back there. That's why I keep looking over. Um, I have got a list of things, goals that I'd like to see, see myself succeed in for 2014. Now, it's still early in January, and there's lots of, lots of time before the end of 2014. But, you always want to get a jump on things. You know, get yourself going early, instead of waiting until, the, you know, halfway through the year, or, or all, you know, three quarters of the way through the year before getting down to them. So, I've categorized everything I wanted to do, everything I wanted to achieve, and kind of put them under general terms and titles to kind of make it easier for me to focus on my goals. First things first, I would like to be prosperous this year. Now, anyone who's seen some of my earlier videos, you know that uh, in New Jersey I was having a lot of trouble with keeping, there wasn't a whole lot going on as far as work in my you know, in the plumbing and HVAC fields, you know, and they were really looking for people that were really, really qualified and wanted to work for very little money. So things were pretty tough. Um, I had a decent job, but they were having a lot of problems paying employees. And uh, we went for like four weeks, after, you know, not by the month or two after I started, we went for like four weeks without being paid. And I kind of knew early on that that job was going to be like a limited edition run kind of thing. That I wouldn't be there for too long. Although I really wish I would have been able to. 
you know, the longer you're at a company, the more experience you get, the easier it is for you to get hired somewhere else if something does happen. So my goal for this year, number one, is to be prosperous. And there seems to be plenty of work for me at this company. So I'm part of the way there. <laughs> I just need to keep taking advantage of it. But I also need to, number one kind of ties into number two. And number two is to be at this job for more than one year. I started this company on the 25th of November. So when November comes and, uh, and I'm walking in there on my one year, the day, my one year, I will be very happy. Because that's something I cannot say about the last two jobs that I've held. I left one after six months on purpose because they were just being completely unfair to the employees. And the other one, obviously things didn't work out well and I was gone, you know, they had to close my department down uh, at the 10 month mark. This company sees a lot of potential in what, um, for, as far as I was told by my manager, they see a lot of potential in what I know and what I can do and my customer service skills and things like that. So they really want to utilize that in outside and inside the office. So we'll see what happens. But I'm definitely looking forward to making that one year mark and just saying, yes, I've been here for a whole year and uh, getting that feeling of being at a job for more than a year again. The longest I've been at any one particular place was almost two. And at my age, it's really disappointing to me that I haven't been able to stay at companies longer. But, um, you know, for this and that, you know, leaving the cable industry, switching to plumbing and HVAC and, and then trying, you know, trying to force myself to stay in it. Um, I'm glad that I'm finally finding opportunities. Goal number three is to um, to learn how to um, help more. And uh, when I say help more, I mean just kind of make myself uh, more of an asset at home. Um, Jessica uh, knows that I'm I'm not exactly the neatest person, and I have a hard time taking care of cleaning things up and stuff like that but I'd really like to learn how to be involved more like to jump in and help cook and set the table clean the dishes clean the house keep things you know tidy and you know make it less of a burden on her because I wouldn't want her to feel like you know she's taking care of a kid because I can't do anything myself so I'd really like to learn how to you know join in not you know if I can't do it you know, by myself and at least be able to join in and, you know, be a helping hand and not feel like I'm not doing anything. Um, you know, obviously, I, right now, she just got down here, so we're still, we're working on finding her a position. And um, so I'm working, and she's going to be way ahead of me with everything. Like, she's uh, been cooking, and I'm probably going to gain a hell of a lot of weight, which is going to kill my, my one of my other goals for the year. Um, but... I'll probably gain a lot of weight from eating all this good food, but I want to be able to help. I want to be able to step in and say, you know, I helped out. Like this morning, I tried to help with breakfast. We made, you know, biscuits and an egg. Now that we have a dishwasher, uh, obviously washing the dishes is gonna, you know, make things easier. And I do the laundry, and I, you know, I feel like that's probably not enough. So I want to try and get involved more and and learn how to help and be more of a you know, less of a burden and, uh, you know, pulling my weight a little bit more around here. Number, I think this is number four. Number four is to um, not lose weight. I'm not going to say lose weight. I want to focus on a healthy lifestyle. I want to go back into doing, you know, big time yoga, DDP yoga, changing the way that we eat. And we've already started working on that. We've made a big, big change to what we normally eat. You know, took a lot of the, we're taking a lot of the meat out and uh, exchanging it for fish and uh, vegetables and things like that. But it's a. Uh, at first, I kind of resisted it. Now I used to not like salads at all. Now I, I will eat them, and I, I like them. They they taste good. You know, I like them prepared a certain way. And I really only like like olive oil and a little bit of um, lemon. 
there's cardinals flying around. And, um, you know, as a, as, a, as a topping, but I'm enjoying them a lot more, and I think I, I always feel better when I eat them, and now I'm getting, I've already lost a little bit of weight um, since I first got down here, and I didn't have her here cooking for me. So I'm going to continue that trend, get healthier, get stronger, get that whole yoga thing going again, and, you know, enjoy the, the peace of mind it was giving me as well as the healthy body. When I think about where I've come from, the back injury that I had, and the the inability to even get to to have trouble put, putting on my own pants, socks, and shoes, to the point where I'm, you know, with yoga, I was at a point where I could touch my toes easily, and I was felt ton, ten times more flexible and strong. I feel stupid for having to have given it up while we were still in New Jersey, but you know, stuff happens, and you got to do what you got to do. So. That's definitely something I'm gonna that we're gonna be focusing on, and we have goals of our own, and I have one in mind in particular, and uh, hopefully, with the the right amount of um, effort, I'll be able to get what I want. And one of my final goals for the year is to um, really get back into music. Now I had mentioned earlier in the year last year, I think it was like summertime that I was recording to release a, um, an EP and a, and a story. And well, things kind of fell through there. The, uh, my buddy that was doing the recording for me, he actually ended up moving out of state. And uh, that kind of killed the whole process of recording. So I kind of put all that in the back burner, but I have always had a really big passion for jazz. And um, I used to take lessons. I, there was an online lessons pool from a, a guy named Jimmy Bruno, and it's like it's like getting real lessons. And, you know, you do get to interact with him. Um, he gives you video responses on YouTube and stuff like that. So I'll probably have to have set up a separate channel for that. I don't know if I'm going to merge that with this channel, but uh, you know, I want to get back into that and get you know learn more and focus on jazz guitar. I had a really nice uh, arch top a couple of years ago that I ended up having to get rid of uh, for some of the crap that we were dealing with and I would be it would be really great and one of my goals now uh, that's not really one of these kind of things that ties into being prosperous is to buy the one jazz guitar that I've always wanted uh, ever since the first time I saw it like you know in 2003 2004 something like that I want to buy one of those and they don't make it anymore so it's gonna be tough to find and I'm hoping that, you know, by summertime or before, way before the end of the year that I have the opportunity to buy one. But I really want to focus on learning as much as I can about jazz guitar and really focusing and putting effort into it. Because when I was a kid and I was learning guitar, I never put a lot of effort into the music lessons. I ended up quitting them after about six weeks and just taught myself how to play guitar because I thought that was easier. But now that I see that there's other easier ways to do things and there's someone that's willing to show me the 40 years of experience that he has playing and teaching, then, you know, I got to take advantage of this and really learn the ins and outs of jazz guitar and, you know, learn how to do chord melodies and do solo guitar. And maybe I'll get to do gigs again like I always wanted to do. So that's kind of the, what I'm looking forward to this year, you know, the basic things that I want. I have a few other goals that are, you know, personal, private stuff that I, you know, only I'll know whether or not I succeeded in doing them. But those are my big ones that I'm really going to focus on. So here's to a great year. I hope everybody enjoyed the new year. Um, if you sat through the whole video, thank you. Um, and thank you to everybody who's been subscribing. I have well over 200 subscribers now, so I'm going to be keep an eye out because there will be a 200 plus subscriber contest coming very, very soon once I figure out what I'm going to do as far as a, as a prize and get myself settled in a little bit more here with Jessica. So keep your eyes out. 200 sub contest coming soon. Uh, everybody here's wishes to you for having a happy new year and make this a good year just like you should make every year. And uh, we'll talk together real soon.